Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this week's video, we're going to take a look at one way to add a drop down calendar date picker into your workbook. Now before you do this, you need to make sure you have your developer tab enabled. And to do this, come to File and Options to open up this Excel Options dialog box. Then you come to Customize Ribbon and under Main Tabs, you need to make sure that you've got Developer checked, which I already do. Once it's checked, click on OK and you should then be able to see your Developer tab in your workbook. Now before we carry on with the video, do remember to give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out as a content creator. Now I'm working in Office 365 and I find one of the simplest way to add a calendar day picker is to on my Developer tab under Controls, I come to this Insert dropdown and then click on this bottom right option here, which is for more controls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I see Microsoft Date and Time Picker Control and click on OK. I then select where in my workbook I want to insert this and you'll see that it's dropped in. I'm going to make a couple of changes here. First, I'm going to change this so that it will move and size with my cells. So I'm going to go to Format Control. I'm actually going to unlock this. And then I'm going to go to, to Properties and Move and Size with Cells. Clicking OK. This will now move in size with my cells, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it so it's aligned with my cell B2. To do that, I'll hold Alt and I'm going to drag my corners so that they match the corner of this box. And then I'm going to right click on this and click Properties. And I'm going to link it into my cell B2. Now I'll get a pop up error here, but I'm just going to ignore it. So if I click OK, I've now linked it to cell B2. So essentially what that means is when I select my date, it will also appear in that cell. In fact, just to demonstrate, I'm just going to change that to cell B3. Ignore that error, turn off my design mode. Now I do have a little gremlin with this. When I first turn off my design mode, my little drop down appears in the top corner, but I can select my date and you can see it's gone into cell B3 there. Now this little error goes away if I adjust my cell slightly. And now I can select my date in the normal way. But you can see that when I change my date, it changes in the cell B3. I'm going to update it so I'm linking back to cell B2. To do that, I need to turn my design mode back on, select my box, right click, and go into properties. And I'm going to link that back to cell B2. Turning my design mode off, that's now linking into that cell. And if I were to go equals B2, you can see that my date is still changing as I update it. Now, one thing I can do with this date picker, if I come back into design mode and select my box, you'll see here that you can actually insert a max date and a minimum date. So say, for example, I want to just have a date selection in 2021. I could change my minimum date to the 1st of January in 2021 and my maximum date to the 31st of December. And now if I come out of design mode and flick through my months, you'll notice it won't let me go any earlier than January. And if I scroll to the end, it won't let me go past December. So you can set up your date picker to have a very specific range. So this has just been a really simple example of how I go about inserting a date picker into my workbook and linking it to a cell so that I can include it in formulas. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this method or any other methods for inserting a day picker that you're aware of. Once again, do remember to like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.